UK Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt used the first Monday on the job to announce that almost all tax measures announced by his predecessor would be reversed. It follows major reversals in recent weeks over the government's plan to scrap the top rate of income tax and ditch a planned rise in corporation tax from 19% to 25%. On Friday, Prime Minister Liz Truss fired her finance minister, Corsi Kuoteng, less than six weeks after the pair took office, appearing to blame the turmoil sparked in financial markets by the budget he announced on September 23. Now, the pound is rising and borrowing costs are falling. For more on this now, let's go to Vicky Price. Uh, she is board member at the Centre for Economic and Business Research. Vicky, many thanks for being with us today. So first of all, everything was, was really scrapped. I mean, uh, the two-year energy price uh, uh, cuts, income tax cuts, and dividends and freelance reforms. Uh, what's your opinion on, on that? I think it had to happen up to a point. It's a bit of a shock that it's been so comprehensive. I mean, there are a few things that have stayed there. Uh, if you remember, there had been a reversal of an earlier increase in national insurance contributions, effectively an extra tax on employers and also employees. Uh, that has stayed as a as a cut, so that has not been reinstated, if you like. So there we are. We've got that part, which is probably something like under you know, 20 billion um, pounds a year, maybe 15 to 20 billion. Plus, we had had a stamp duty a decrease, which is the, the tax you pay when you buy a home. That seems to stay, including, strangely, as far as we are aware, uh, bankers' bonuses, which, uh, you know, uh, saw that the, the cap on them had been also removed. Now, we may get more on those things that are still on the table by the end of this uh, month when we get the medium-term fiscal plan, which mm -hmm. has been promised, will happen on the 31st. Mm -hmm. But for the moment, those three areas need are, are staying where they are um, as a result of the mini-budget, if you like. But everything else, more or less, has gone. Uh, when I say more or less, it's because the electricity price freeze, which was announced, which actually was the biggest uh, cost to uh, the, the fiscal purse, if you like, that has been curtailed. So we are now talking about giving support just for six months for households and reviewing that at the end of April. For businesses, it was just six months anyway mm -hmm. with a review promise. So we're back to those two being in the same timeline, but that is going to be pretty painful for households. So when you look at the whole package and there may be more cuts to come in terms of public spending, we are looking at some sort of austerity period coming in the UK again and probably lower growth in the economy as a result. Vicky Price, many thanks for this interesting analysis.